Welcome to episode three. And in this video, I'm just going to, uh, I guess, optimize some of the code. So at the moment, uh, network instructions are being, well, network commands are being sent constantly. So if I open up a script, so for example, the sync position script, and just put in a debug.log uh, statement. So currently this command here, it's being called constantly. And that's really inefficient. So if I just put in here debug.log, just to show it, um, command, uh, I guess called, and uh, I'll go ahead and build and run. Yep, and just save in the appropriate place. And start up a server as well. Well, there you go. It's already getting called. And um, this is just from the uh, player on uh, the game itself. Well, that's not a network message. It's just an internal uh, message queue or something like that. So it's not actually using up any network bandwidth. This is the client on the uh, server, so the host uh, player. But if another client connects, then it's just going to increase even more. So every client that connects is going to be constantly calling commands and they're all coming back to the server. So, um, so I need to change that a bit so that when clients aren't moving, they shouldn't be sending any commands to the server. They shouldn't be uh, eating up the network traffic. So uh, I'll just add a, a two new variables. It'll be uh, pretty simple. Uh, so I'm thinking, uh, the first one is um, just a private uh, vector three last position. So I'll just put last pos. And uh, what's the other one? I think a private float. Yes, I need a threshold or some kind threshold or some such thing uh, is equal to say. So when the player moves, for every half meter the player moves, then send a uh, command. So don't send it constantly for every, you know, 0.1 meters that they've moved or 0.0, .0 whatever, because that's too fine and I don't need it uh, that fine, uh, the uh, increments. So yeah, because I'm already using smoothing anyway, so 0.5 F, uh, for example, so half a meter. And uh, now I need to, uh, for the uh, local player, I just need to put in there some sort of a check. So if his local player and, for example, uh, that local player has moved. So, for example, if his local player and vector3.distance. So a distance check and between two positions. So my transform.position and uh, the um, uh, last position. And uh, that's it, sorry. And then, of course, and if that's less than the threshold, then we send the command. Otherwise, don't send it. So if this is our player and it's only called on a, cl on a client, so only a client can run this function, the server never runs this function, and it's a local player, then, and also, uh, the distance is in fact, uh, oops, greater than, what am I saying, less than, my mistake. And the distance between the last position and the current position is greater than the threshold. Then run the command, and I need to just capture the last position. Otherwise, it'll forever be a vector 3.0. Uh, last position is equal to my transform dot position. All right, so uh, that should actually work now. Um, so I can, I guess I can go ahead and run that. I don't even need to build and run for that. So there we go. When the player is still, there's nothing. There's no command called. If I turn around, of course, I haven't done anything with the rotation uh, script yet, which I'm about to. Now if I start moving, okay, I'm starting to send commands now. And if this was another player, a remote player, well then uh, I've reduced the network traffic and I'll have pretty much the same result anyway. Uh, because I have uh, the lerping going on. Okay, so I'll just quickly do that for the rotation script as well uh, while I'm at it. And this one is going to be a uh, private quaternion uh, last um, player rotation, last player rot, and a private quaternion last cam rot rotation and private float uh, threshold 
is equal to how many degrees? Say five degrees, maybe five degrees. I don't know. Like, um, well, let's just just try it out and see. Uh, okay. Now, once again, only um, on the function that's run on clients, and it of course has to be the local player who is sending the command. And of course, at the moment, the command is being continuously sent. And I want to change that, so I should say and quaternion dot angle. That's the one to check. So angle checks uh, the uh, well, it determines the angle between two quaternions. Uh, what's the quaternion A? It is player transform a dot rotation and last player rot. Um, and quaternion dot player rotation is greater than threshold and also or should it be or no it should be or so if either one of these two yeah because the reason why i'm saying or is because um uh no hang on there's there something that could be wrong here ah i see what the problem with my code here is so this here if i wrote this so let's say i wrote uh, let me just write it quaternion so i can at least uh, explain it possibly a bit better angle and then i say uh, last cam rotation. Well, sorry, my mistakes. I should say cam rotation, cam transform dot rotation, and the last cam rotation uh, is greater than threshold. Then I'm going to carry out this function. But there's a problem here. This is a uh, a pretty, uh, I guess, a, uh, a rubbish function, uh, a rubbish if statement here, because what's going to happen is. Uh, this will get run on players who are not the local player as well. If this happens to be become true with something and this or that. So I shouldn't do that. that. That's not right. I should just stop that. And I should just make another if statement. So I'll cut all of this out. Bring it down here and say if it's this. Uh, do I have too many brackets? Yes, I do. Then and bring in the command here. Now this will behave uh, how I intend it to behave uh, without having a bizarre behavior. Okay, so now if it's the local player, and then there's another check to be done. Uh, if the player has rotated in their y-axis, so the, the main player capsule has rotated in the y-axis more than five degrees, then the message, the command will be called on the server. Or if the uh, the player's camera has tilted on the x-axis more than five degrees, then this command is going to be uh, called. All right, so uh, why don't I just put in the command here? Uh, and oh, sorry, before I finish, of course, otherwise I'll have uh, zero quaternions with no angle. I have to, of course, set last player rotation is equal to player transform dot rotation. And last cam rotation is equal to last uh, is equal to cam transform dot rotation. Okay, and uh, in the command, I will just put a debug dot log, and I will just say um, command for angle, and just save that, and I will uh, comment out this debug dot log on my position sync position script. Come back to Unity. And oh yeah, just I can just hit the play button. Okay, so it's working. Um, I'm not sending out commands for angles now. If I rotate on the y-axis, okay. Now I'm sending commands. If I tilt up, I will down, and if I tilt up, then there you go. All right, so that is working. How about I just build and run for a quick check? Okay, hit host there, jump in, player, all right. So if the player moves, of course, I've de I turned off that debug.log, but as I'm turning them around, I can see that um, I'm sending off commands for syncing uh, the angle. Oh, so this is all working as intended, and I've massively reduced uh, the amount of information while well, data I'm sending over the network. So I'll just comment that out, and I know that's working. Okay, that's it. So I'm done. So that's all I was going to cover in part three. 
Now, in the next few parts, uh, I'm thinking that I should start putting in some hit detection. So probably in the next video, that's going to be about uh, unique player identity. And then the video after, then some, uh, I guess, I guess some uh, hit detection and health uh, damage, health and damage, I guess. All right, so thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.